propagated through Facebook by a lot of schools. And then um, we talked and I went to different schools on visits, official visits. And then I came here and it was like, I straight away felt that people cared about me and um, it felt like home. The biggest change is most likely not having your mom around who's doing the laundry, who's cooking for you and like all that, or paying bills. Um, it was kind of like a big step coming here because I was living on my own I had to take care of all that stuff and I learned a lot and I think I matured a lot in the last two or three years. From the opening time that I accepted this position, I reached out to all the guys on the team and, and just with an opening email, even when I was back in New York, and uh, Lasse was the very first one that responded straight away and it was a very in-depth and thoughtful response and welcoming me. Um, so that was my first impression of Lasse. Uh, and then once I got here, it was, it was more of the same. Um, coaches always told me that hard, hard work pays off and since I came here it was always about putting the work in and it's going to pay off eventually. In the beginning I had some tough losses, we were up double break against number one in the country and lost and, but the coach kept saying like try to do the same thing over and over again and believe in yourself and good wins are going to come and that's what happened in my junior year. We had a lot of wins, I don't know like several like eight, nine top ranked guys, um, we beat top ranked guys like seven or eight times and um, yeah, it just paid off eventually. Initial first impression, competitive. Uh, that's, that's the kind of the thing that stood out the most is how much he, he cares and how much he wants to win or hates to lose. I'm not sure which is, which is uh, higher on that, on that level, but um, that was the first thing that stood out and I think that's why he's successful. I mean, it was unbelievable because I remember my sophomore season, we, the regular season was actually really rough for us because we had two losses in the conference, 4-3, twice against Upstate and FGCU and it was kind of like not a great season for us and it was so cool how we turned around and actually shut down the conference with like 4-0 and 4-0 sweeps in both matches and it was just an unbelievable feeling like in the end just having the last point and just knowing that we won the conference, the tournament for the first time. Yeah, I would say winning the conference was a big one and I mean it was also really big with Jack Phil Hawkins last year going on a run at the All-Americans where we um, finished second, which was kind of unbelievable because we beat a lot of good teams and no one really expected that from us. That was also a really cool memory. The most striking factor about meeting him is just how engaging he is and how committed he is to doing things the right way. Uh, all the small details he takes care of, his schoolwork. Um, treating the other guys with respect, being a leader of our program, and then on the court, uh, his results speak for themselves. For me, I try to do the right thing on and off the court every day, and uh, by that I try to lead by example. So I hope that the people around me see that and try to engage in the same behavior. It's mostly taking care of the little things, um, because the material is not like that hard that you have to like invest a lot of hours but it's about like being organized or so, like okay now it's time to study for two hours or okay now it's time for tennis. So I think I, was, I did a really good job of being organized and separating those two things and um, that's why I think I have fairly success in both areas. Most uh, people in this world that, that do great things are very very competitive and that was the initial thing that stood out to me. Um, but even beyond that is He's competitive, but he's also a, just a truly good person. Um, so it's unique to find that, to find both those values in someone.